of the Freedom of Information Act, he said we must stop the rise of a black messiah. We must stop the rise of a black messiah who can unify and electrify the militant radical movement. We must stop the rise, he says, of a black messiah who can unify and electrify the militant masses among black people. How will you stop him, Mr. Hoover? In the FBI files, he said we must discredit leadership, black leadership. We must misdirect black people. We must otherwise confuse them and neutralize black leadership and destroy black leaders and black organizations. He goes on to say, we must discredit these black leaders among the most radical conscious elements in the black community. We must discredit the black leader who is the premier leader of the day, who fits this mold and mold of the black messiah. We must make sure that the Pan-Africanist community will not come near him. I know some of y'all think y'all going to build a government right here in America. You're sovereign and indigenous and this shit, and you got some old treaties from the 1700s. I'm not knocking. I love my Moorish brothers. We have respectful debates all the time. And Noble Drew Ali and Mr. Garvey were friends with each other. But what we would say to that argument is this. It is a contradiction in sovereignty for a sovereign nation to allow another sovereign nation in its borders. Show me a country that consider itself sovereign, that will allow another sovereign nation to exist within its borders. Are you aware that the Civil War was fought? That the white man killed his own brother so America wouldn't become two nations? But because you got a couple of treaties, you Let me know. break this down to you about this treaty real quick. This is real something. The reason you can't find a case where the treaty actually applied is because treaties is between nations. Our people, because one, we don't have a state and have not reunified back into a state government, is not a nation of people. Treaties is between nations. So the only way that the treaty can be enforced against the United States, we as a nation of people must form ourselves back into an independent nation state. Now we are a nation. We now are the nation who the United States government had the treaty with and now are able to enforce said treaty. Until we come as a nation, there's no way to enforce the treaty. This is why I continue to preach about state and the reason that we must reunify into a state again. Because only as a state are we recognized as a nation. And only as a nation can that treaty be enforced by one of the members of the head of the state or that government or that nation can come forward and 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 stress the fact to uh or, or the fact that we're bringing our treaty in the force and is and uh are expecting for the united states government to honor all contractual agreements between both nations they nation and our nation which is the representation on the back of the dollar bill all more is notice it's two governments so if it's two governments that means one of these governments did something that they weren't supposed to do. That was us. We stopped running our government and stopped following up behind them and their government. Okay, so this is a known fact that you had two governments here with the two seals, the eagle and, and the shield, which is they seal, the pyramid and the eye, which is Solomon seal, which is our grand national seal. So now, if we only repatriate back to our state government like we're supposed to, now we can enforce the treaty that we have with them. But only until we come back as a state government, therefore representing the nation, then the treaty will apply, my brother. Peace. Make sure that the nationalist community is so confused and angry, we will create the circumstances that are crowded around him that will keep the nationalists away from him. We will make sure that the students who are conscious students, who are studying the ancient Memphite theology and the ancient genetic mystery system, and who are studying Yoruba and other African traditional religions, we will make sure that
that they stay away from the premier leaders of black Messiah. Do we recognize J. Edgar Hoover of the FBI talking? We recognize the ones that we recognize having the power as having the power to unify and electrify the militant black masses. The next denial objective of the government was we must make sure that we discredit this black messiah. This is the talk that who were you? He called this leader a black messiah. We must discredit this black messiah among the black youth. We must discredit him among the youth and make sure that the youth are so mixed up and fixed up and so confused until they will not come near the black messiah who can organize them, mobilize them, and galvanize them. So the denial objective of the United States government is to keep you away from this black messiah who has the power today to set you in motion. It's written in the scripture that there's a man that would come that some say Messiah, some say it's the God himself. But whoever, chief, whatever you want to call him, there's a man coming. And he shall be called one. This is a demonstration Council, of Wirecast. The mighty God, the Prince of Peace, the everlasting Father. And, and he shall have, look at this, Brother Ben, a government on his shoulders. Mm. And with the increase of his government of peace, there should be no end. Well, what sits on a man's shoulders is his head. So I'm saying that the government that's on the shoulders of the Messiah. There's not a bunch of governments to choose from. Okay. And let me explain what I'm talking about. That red flag with that green five point star in the center. That flag is the flag of a nation of people. All these other governments here in America are corporate governments. Okay. Our every state flag is the flag of a corporate government and corporate citizens. Those flags are not the flags of nations of people created by God. Right now, for our people, and I'm going to go on the record and say this, and I challenge anybody to, to, to prove me wrong. The only government we have in America right now that pertains to so-called Negro, colored, black, African-American people is the United States of America Republic. It is the only government that we as a nation of people have. It is not an NGO. You got a lot of people out here claiming to be a government, but they're NGOs. They're non-governmental organizations. And I, they can step up to the plate if they want to, but they better step up with that law because that's what I'm going to use to discredit them in the door. Oh, that they're not a government. Need to reach uh, Bay, if anybody is familiar with him. Um, I mean, as in governors and millimeter people as myself with the red flag with the green, uh, with the green star. That's why I was referring to for those who, um, don't know. So, well, like, uh, like you could just be a part of a government, it was, uh, pertaining to the government that set up for our people. It, it's not. But what I want you to know is Taj Tariq Baynum is not a government. RV Bay Publications and Tosh Tariq Bay and them, they have no government, brother. They have no government. They are NGO. A corporate government is any government. All Number one, all governments are corporations. That's number one. But all governments are not attached to a natural people. Okay? Our government is a government created by natural people who have a flag as a nation of people that God created on earth. We're not corporate. We're not corporate citizens. The United a United States citizen is a corporate citizen. It is a citizen that God did not create. It is a person that God did not create. Therefore, all his rights come from a corporate status. Versus us being a natural people, our true rights and laws, uh, our true rights as a people that our God-given rights have been given to us as a nation of people because we are people that God created. Therefore, it is a difference in our flag and the state of Virginia flag and the state of Wisconsin flag and the state of Illinois flag. So you got to understand the reason they have those flags is so that they can operate in commerce. All those flags are nothing more than commerce banners allowing them to operate in commerce. So the difference in their government and ours, we are de jure government and they are quasi governments. They're not a de jure government. They're not a government 
uh, 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 people. Now, the people that are citizens under those state governments, all of those people have nationalities. They all are citizens of a nation state of people. Russian, Russian American, Japanese American, Chinese American, Polish American, Scottish American, Irish American. Now those people, those names I just named, they have national flags. So the flag of Illinois is not the flag for all of those people. And the same thing with us. No state flag in this country is a representation of us as a nation of people. Our prophet told us our flag is over 10,000 years old. Okay? That means we've been a nation for over 10,000 years. I'm working the way that I know how to work. And the way that I know how to work is by us establishing our government and therefore breaking white the black or white supremacy and these people having control over us forever and that's it